Welcome to the first episode of Bulldog TV this year. I'm Latakwa. And I'm Kyle. And on this episode of Bulldog TV, we have a new segment, Storyteller Sessions. A story taking place on campus about the construction and more. Bulldog TV starts now. Students, if you are 16 years old, you are required by the state of Arkansas to have a second meningococcal vaccine in order to stay in school. The meningococcal vaccine can prevent the spread of meningitis. Meningitis is a bacterial infection that is spread amongst young people. That's why we require it at 16. Um, it absorbs through the nasal passages and goes into the bloodstream and can cause, it causes flu-like symptoms to begin with and then quickly progresses and can cause severe headache, confusion, stiff neck, and can be fatal within 48 hours. Vaccines are important to keep yourself and others healthy. The community clinic and the health department are two places you can go to get vaccines updated. Students return to school this year with two buildings gone, a lot of classroom changes. Bulldog TV reporter Sebastian Morales talked to the Principal Jones about the changes. The Springdale High School campus looks a little different this year due to the construction of the brand new arenas that are taking the place of the two oldest buildings in Springdale High School. The old gymnasiums cannot handle the growing population of the Springdale High School students. Obviously you take a walk through our gym and you can see that we're in, in need of a new gymnasium. Just not enough room. The new facility would consist of two gyms, locker rooms, offices, and weight rooms. There will also be an academic wing with classrooms. It's important to be able to show up at a facility that you, um, one that is safe and one that um, has new things that we'll all take pride in and take care of. So I think it's very important for, for the school. While some current students may not get to utilize the facility, it will definitely aid in the education and experience of future students. I can't think of anything negative except for the construction has um, cut down half of the courtyard. So if you are used to going out in the courtyard and uh, kicking the soccer ball around or just hanging out with your friends, uh, that would probably be the, the only negative piece that I can think of. And of course parking. Uh, parking has been an inconvenience on really all of us. But, I would describe it as a temporary inconvenience for a long-term positive gain. Although current juniors and seniors cannot enjoy the new buildings, the future generations will be able to experience the Springdale High School campus in a new way. From Bulldog TV, I'm Sebastian. Ready for, uh, you hyped about the construction? I'm excited for that, but I'm just sad that I ain't going to be here next year to see Thanks, Yeah, but like, we'll definitely come back and visit. Yeah. And I like how, like, I'm still being able to like watch the construction go, you know? Yeah, especially how the students are taking part in it too. Thanks, yeah. Well, we'll come back to this. We'll see you guys after this commercial break. The holidays are on their way, and there is no better way to celebrate than with this family favorite Christmas tradition, the Nutcracker, November 25th through the 27th at Walton Arts Center. Featuring Canada's Royal Winnipeg Ballet and a cast of local children, the Nutcracker. Buy your tickets today at 479-443-5600 or at waltonartcenter.org. Joe and Larry here with Sam's Furniture. We just wanted to thank you for your business and to let you know that your purchase helps serve so many people. That's right. The culture here at Sam's is to love and serve others in our community and around the globe. So when you buy at Sam's, part of your purchase goes to support one of the many organizations we partner with. You enable us to invest in our children, teachers, veterans, development in Africa, and distributing wheelchairs to those in need around the world. You are a part of this. So from the Sam's Furniture family to yours, thank, thank you. you. Experience everything Springdale has to offer. Visit ExploreSpringdale.com or download the new Explore Springdale app. It's the best place to discover all there is to do and see in Springdale. We'll help you explore our many eateries and attractions and introduce you to our shopping, arts, parks, and trails. You'll also find links to our great hotels and meeting venues. Download the new Explore Springdale app or visit ExploreSpringdale.com to begin your Springdale adventure. 
Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Goodbye, guessing. Hello, confidence. So long, stress. Hello, security. Farewell, running to the bank. Hello, banking from anywhere. Get a quick view of your balance, lock lost debit cards, and quickly deposit checks anywhere, anytime with the highly rated Arvest Go mobile app from Arvest Bank. Goodbye, limits. Hello, possibilities. If you need that love, support, somebody to push you, to tell you you can do it, I would tell them to come to Pam Transportation. It's a family here. It's, it's not just a regular company. They will look after you. They will show you that you are important. You are welcome here. Everyone has a story. The stories make up our different journeys our life takes us. Miss King, her story, her journey brought us here to SHS. I love biology. I loved biology in high school. I was a biology nerd. Um, I studied biology in college and did not think that I wanted to be a teacher. Um, but I did some tutoring and other things throughout college and kind of realized that I had a passion for teaching others. Um, I had a passion for helping others. And so it was kind of natural for me um, to fall into that biology role. One, because I love it. It's the study of life. It's so applicable to the real world. Um, but also it was something I was really um, comfortable and familiar with. I've been preparing um, for a set of time and then finally you have a job and you have students. And so I felt excited, but I felt nervous as well, especially with high schoolers, because you don't know, one, if they're going to like you, um, two, are you going to be able to connect with them? Um, but I mean, as soon as I met, met my kids, I was super excited and it felt um, fantastic. It was like, your, like I said, your dream come true, finally getting to do what you want. I didn't realize like how into teaching I would be and into um, students' lives. So just in the fact of like, I, I really, really, really care. Um, and so sometimes it's hard not to take that stress and worry home with me. Um, so I wish that I had maybe known that before teaching so that I could have come in with a better way to kind of compartmentalize what I'm doing so I don't go home like stressed about a student or you know if a student's had a bad day like that's what I'm thinking about after school. I think my biggest strength is connections and relationships. I feel that I'm really good at forming relationships with students. It's my favorite part of the job and so because of that I feel like I do a good job of that. I'm too nice but I think that I could get better at being more firm and saying no more often. I think that part of my strength is being friendly and because of that, it kind of turns into a weakness as well of being too nice. Um, take it day by day. Take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Um, really just have those reflection moments of what are you doing well? Celebrate your success, um, but also recognize what you need to improve upon, but don't let that hold you back. Instead, let that propel you forward. Ms. King, thank you for everything you do for your students. Recently, students enrolled in the programs Bulldog Media Productions, Journalism and Advertising and Design attended the Ozarks Media Arts Film Festival. Students competed in an on-site competition and did a wonderful job. For commercial photography, Tiggs Heckers, Ingon Changum, and Calvin Cadlip received first place. Yearbook staff received second place, and Adrian Franco, Chanel Austin, Johnson Alenso received third place. For creative photography, Emma K. Oliver, Kaylin Hader and Holly Lutard received first place. For 30 second film, Brian Tapia, Hasper Ordanez, Michelle Sanchez, Nicole Arroyo, Kathy Iamane, and I received first place. 
For three minute film, Anthony Batres, Brian Gomez, Jamie Villa Cor Coronel, Tanya Gomez, Yelena Solorzano received first place, Carlos Lupercio, Natalie Vera, Sebastian Diaz, Toby Hidalgo, Maxi Nomota, and Linda Gallegos received third place. And for the PSA, Milson Henry, Jefferson Kinnair, J.R. Soromil, Chathan Landrum, and Rusin Leander received first place. Bulldogs, we are extremely proud of you and your accomplishments. To give you an idea of the work these students did at OMAV, here is the 30-second film that won first place. Coming of age. The moment when you realize you're not a kid anymore. And you have responsibilities. Responsibilities that you can't rely on the people around you to do. And that you are the only person you can rely on. You have to manage yourself. You have to be in charge of yourself. And y'all's video was super impressive. Appreciate it. It's pretty hard to fit all that information in 30 seconds. I know. And didn't y'all only have four hours to like make it? Yeah, four hours seems like a lot of time. But for this kind of competition and all the nerves that are coming in, four hours is not enough. I feel that. It sounds lit. Well, thank you all. That's all the news that we have for today. I'm Latakwa. And I'm Kyle. Keep it classy, Springdale.